Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, how to do this question, this in the notes. Huh? So uh, let's, let's read the question. We're going to have uh, one info, this AB is uh, this vector. And then uh, from here, you want to find the magnitude. So magnitude is very easy. So it's just Pythagoras theorem, d square plus d square, whole thing square root. So uh, that's why it's over here. So it's 8 square, uh, minus 8 square, 15 square, square root, 17. So that's easy. So the next point is uh, to give you a C is this point. And then they give you dc equal to 2ab. So this is where a uh, position vector comes in very handy. So uh, I start with uh, writing what they give us. And then I'm going to split uh, this up. Because at the end of the day, I want d. Which means I, I want od. I want coordinates, right? So I, I need to find od first. So uh, I need to split this up. So by using the position vectors, this is uh, the second letter minus the first letter, right? So this is OC minus OD, so here. So AB, I don't need to split because AB, I already have. So AB is here. So it's two times this one. Okay, so after that, uh, I simply make OD the subject because I'm interested in OD. And I realize, hey, actually OC, I also have OC is here. And they give you OC is 420. So in the world of position vectors, the coordinate is the vector. So that's why I put uh, this 420 as a vector over here, OC, 420, minus OD equal to this, I times 2 already. Here I times in the 2, I get this. So I literally just make this subject. This one goes to the right, then go to the left, done. So this is my OC, or OD, sorry. So with this, this is not the answer yet because they will ask for coordinates here. So coordinates, you must write it horizontally. So I'll just add another line. Uh, D is this. Okay, so this is actually, the whole front part is actually quite easy. So the only interesting thing is over here, this A, B, C, D. They ask you what quadrilateral it is. Now this is quite difficult if you have never seen this before. But there are many hints here. And it hinges on uh, a lot of good concept. So uh, our first hint is actually over here. You can see that C, D, is 2 times AB. Now, if you recall the condition for two vectors to be parallel, um, you must be able to times a number to get the other one. So this is exactly the case here. If AB times 2, I'm going to get DC, which will, it implies that C, uh, DC and AB are parallel. So this is the most important um, conclusion that you must somehow be able to figure out. And that's why I draw it. And the, the letter matters, huh? DC and AB. So it's DC and AB, they are parallel. So I drew two lines parallel. And uh, there's more than that. Uh, you can also see that AB must times 2 to be equal to DC. So it also implies that DC is double the length of AB. That's why I drew uh, DC longer, about double, right? So, given these two parallel lines, the only other way to join this is to join these two sides. And this clearly is going to be a trapezium. So, so that's how you do this question. So, hope you've learned something new. Thank you and bye-bye.